right now, this is right. your chance. So a humongous series for both teams. And it's not just these teams either. It's all of those respective regions teams. I saw yeah. on there, a lot you can have to make do with a little bit less regen there. As Zai, a couple punches, forced out of the lane. Boxy goes on into secure the range creep. Yeah, that was nice. No, no panic fissure there, just to like prevent any damage on the Zai. Instead, securing oh. the range creep, and now he's getting some damage on the Skem. And likewise, down bottom, Xania takes some punches. Tim's going to be fine through it. Skem also backs away, but FBZ, boss man indeed. A couple more punches, and Matumbo Man draws first blood on the Alchemist. Well, you heard the panel saying, you know, there have been situations where, of course, this Viper able to pressure early, but catches him at just level one. So not enough options to slow down Matu. They don't get the combination as well from the Tusk, of course, as you don't have the tag team yet, so you're not able to punch back and really threaten with this damage there. Doesn't mean the lane's over by any means, but certainly a great start there for Liquid. And yeah, one of the benefits of spamming out that wave and getting... And Zai playing much more for the laning stage as Insania runs into Tim's, and this might finally be a bit too far for him. The tag team, a couple punches, but Matumba Man moves in. A snowball to dodge the stun, and still FBZ taking a lot of damage with all that minus armor and having the extra creep to good shards block up. Oh, that was a pretty bait. Stun is there. It's not enough to kill the Viper. Well played by Boom. Yeah, Yopash needing that desperately, right? Because he doesn't really have that many safe plays. Good kill on Boxy, but instead, oh. this could be a bigger one. Fine side for the tossback, but a little bit away. Chains doesn't done. matter. He's dead. He has mules. Yeah, that's he pretty can't rough. use it. That's, it's not available. Not ready. It's completing that now on the the CK. Also have it done on the Viper and Mickey. He just walks into him. Fissure is there, but he's got the BKB if they need it. Tim's ready with the snowball save. FPC jumped upon him. FPC just gets blown up and dead. Okay. Now turn, look for Yopaj. Mickey right on him. And Yopaj also likely to fall. They just walked in and died. Yeah, Tim was like 20 gold away from a bullet. Oh, man. So not having that save option. And they just kind of slow rolled them a bit, right? And that's what this Enchantress and the oh, Earth are going to try and do. Jackie, Mickey goes into all of them. Oh, he's broken. Reactive armor stacks not where they need to be. He is gone. Snowball afterwards to Insania and just timber chained into the wrong spot. Zai up on the high ground, going to pop the BKB Exorcism. Still thinks that this is a decent fight for them as, well, Matumbo Man pulled back in. He pops his BKB, tries to run away from Jackie Yopaj. Throws out the avalanche and gets a little bit of holding Dying here. This is a great spot to fight for Boxy. Walks into everybody, gets silenced, and just gonna die. Another one of those very bizarre moments where you think you can take the fight and just very wrong. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That was uh, that was interesting. Tower is under attack. <laughs> That's a bold move. That's what that is. I mean, number one, maybe not expecting them to necessarily all be there, or he's thinking like, I can snowball fast enough, right? That I feel like that was his play. I'm gonna right. snowball. I'll provide the vision. You guys have this sweet jump that you can punish on this, but that's still so risky into an Earthshaker, because if you don't have a stun or at least some sort of damage on the box, and he can just reposition with the blink, with the sharp, with the echo, it's not that easy. Uh, then again, you know, maybe they just preemptively pop their BKBs and they do it in a very aggressive manner when they go. That's true too. Scam on it. This is a big reveal. But finds can't... one. Mickey toss back onto FPZ. The BKB response. Don't know if he spotted that when they tossed him back. FPZ will have the Viper strike. Jackie blows up Insania. Did not stand a chance. Turns for another two second stun. Can they bring down Mickey? Instead, they focus down on the Zai. On has to back out. FPZ in some trouble. The bash is there, but Matumba Man not trying to go for the full commit. Trying to run away is Scam. He gets stunned. He gets controlled. Chen getting a lot of regen in, but does not have the help of his team. But Tumble Man BKB wearing out. Tim's thinking about turning to him. With the tier two tower already dead, I don't know if Boom can take this fight. Oh, they want to chase. They got Blink on CK. They got Blink on Tusk. Viper wants his range damage. They want to go in. Five seconds stun. Avatar from Yopash. Couple more punches is gone. No agents. Turns on his eye now. Snowball Jack beating into him. But Foxy moves on it. Is it not enough though? They turn, FPZ still surviving, so much survivability on this Viper. Matumba Man gets his ulti off, and Tim's runs on in silence. FPZ oh, now and he's in trouble as they bring him down for the finish. Tim's now turns, Mickey back in, out dies Jackie in this long extended fight. The heart region doing so much for him. He's got a couple more punches. Tim's wants to walk back through this. He's out of mana. 2v3, but Insania is far away and not really going to provide that much help. Jackie, low, the Chakram, it's out. He's trying to regen off of creeps. They're the still rest playing of the snowball. They to come in. They do have the Chen nearby. Scam gets there for the mech. It's enough for the save. Both of the creep heroes are back. They have the Vlad 
where the turret saved you just dies again. We're hoping something else would go on, but Tim's there with the BKB cancel. Then oh, no. BZ turned upon. They have the BKB there waiting for the blade down. Foxy's still hunting, waiting in the backside. Side tries to burn out a little bit more on these heroes, but they can't find the target. FBZ low, Fisher connects onto two, pretty good, and they're gonna find at least those two. The key part of their fight, they're gonna find Zai again. Runs right into him, stun BKB. Zai, Yule Scepter, tries to get out, can he escape? Fatumaman shows up, could stun onto the tusk. Foxy joking together with the rest of the team. A good burst down as Zai will fall. Mickey BKB, his is wearing down lower. Foxy back. right on top of him. Where do they go next? Couple more bits of control. The break is there. This Viper is doing so much work. Standing tall in front of all of them. He's left alone. The wrap through. Yeah, he's eventually going to fall. FBZ. I mean, boom. Okay, they have this ward. They want to take advantage of it. They find Boxy right at the start. Stun. Interrupted. Matama Man ready for the punish. The badge is there. They got a control skip trying to keep him alive. And Hand have got everything for Jackie. But eventually, so all safe keeps him alive. Oh, the region is going to come out. But will it be enough to make him survive through the second salvo? It won't. They went for it all. And it did not work. FBZ. Also in trouble as they find another pick and boom. Control as well, just. But this is where it really matters. That earlier buyback from Zai, he doesn't have it. That's why they gave him the Aegis. Another three minutes, and that is a heavy punish. They only have four heroes here. How much can Boom get? They know that this is their time. Although, Kenji tips over to the side. Yo, Patch, tries to pop him away. And keeps him alive. Pretty big commitment. Jackie, BKA, turn, he's dead. Mickey didn't stand a chance, and he has to buy back. This is Danger Town. Liquid could lose the game right here if they're not careful, and boom, want to get as much objectives as they can. FPC's right up front, still has the BKB. Nice stalwart tower here, as Yopaj is hunting as well, looking, has Silver Edge, has Blink. One more toss back. That's all they need. When Tumba Man goes down, this game is over. They're still BKBs, though. This game's over, uh, and Liquid, they're, they're not going to tempt fate. Tumbo Man BKB, I, they might have to give up Rax here. Still 19 seconds. They turn, they find Mickey. If he goes down, that could be it. Roxy tries to interrupt this, and Mickey, he gets out. He survives. But Tumbo Man low, broken. Tumbo Man punches down low and going to fall. Two minutes dead. Boom, they survive through the madness. Gonna set their sights now on the tier four towers. They actually don't have a creep wave. With the buyback from Edge, they gotta get this back in here. It's still two minutes without Matumbo Man, but Zai is back up with Mickey. No boxy either. It feels like they could just guide this creep wave in here though, right? It's true. I mean, the, the couriers are flying out. They toss. Insania gets the four staff out. Boom. Yes. Bouncing between, do we go for tier fours or do we go for the racks? They're gonna set their sights now onto the tier fours, try and finish this off here. Mickey slowing down what they can, the silence is out. The chakram already thrown. Zai pops the exorcism, trying to delay. This would be a miraculous hold if Liquid could manage it. Zai, BKB runs in, Tim's right on top of him. They're throwing out the impetus shots. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. Zai down low and eventually falls, 90 seconds gone. And I think Boom have locked the last pick that's supposed to be that big one. Yeah. This it was like the FPZ Timber. That's like the really good one, I feel like. Uh, yeah, um, Timber obviously set up for a pretty decent game, I see at this point. And uh, I mean, Boom are trying to do man. We're gonna chase down Tim's a little bit. And that was a penitence, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, penitence with the, uh, the Terror Blade meta, kind of scary. Some good deeps in. And now you need to get a lot of value out of this. The early lane is the part of this matchup where it feels like you have the most potential for the Terra Blade. And FBZ already starting with that armor has to get it built up, hides away before Tumble Man heads on back to last hitting here. So some interesting things to watch for is Tim's trading hits with Insania, but Tumble Man moves in. Couple more punches, yeah. the pendants, but the metamorphosis wears out. Good timing. Let's there. get away. Yeah, keeping an eye on that duration being left at his Zai. Uh, reprising his role here on the Death Prophet. Didn't have a great game Ooh, uh, last match, I would say. They're bringing in heroes to defend against this. They bring FBZ all the way bottom. Mickey's there with Boxy, but boom, they've got numbers. Four on four as Tim's runs into all Maybe of them. Yopaj goes for the jump. Yopaj ready to go round two. The grave is already out, trying to keep him alive. Tiny in trouble, does fall. 
Oh, the leash on the Yokaj, though. This is dangerous. And like, he can't quite get him with the silence, but FPZ still in trouble. Heal comes out. Lots of regen. Dodgy trying to survive, but it won't be enough. Liquid. They had the stronger fight right now. Mm hmm. And Mickey too, the patience on that coil, right? Where they're constantly harassing and zoning him these shows. He's waiting for Yopaj to, so, to show before he goes for it. Like, the silence gets burned, and that's kind of what baits in Yopaj. He's like, okay, no silence. I'm, I'm finally going to go at this point. Because he tried to wait even longer, hoping Mickey would coil. Then he gets coiled right away. Not able to really exert that much damage. Not able to help his teammates. And so, despite this attempt to try and hold it, this. The see you later. Now, this is a Shen game right here. Good one. Coil afterwards. They find themselves a quick little jump now. On the Yopash. Oh, it gets away though. Barely able to escape. The Dazzle, not so lucky. Quid. They retreat. But they got what they came for. Tier 2 tower down. Cost Exo and Metamorphosis. Gee, they're dropping just a bit lower. Too late. They're not going to get there, but they do find one. Oh, the silence is okay. Under control. Oh, the disposed Boxy. Keeping his buddy alive, and they get the Aegis on the Terra Blade. They force the BKB. Yeah, Jackie's done. That BKB, all for this. All just because of the silence that was there to save Mickey. The chase down. And they got another. Oh, it's not the Dazzle of yesterday. Pull him in. Knock him down. Something tells me this uh, this won't be the last one of his uh, his graves that we see. This is Mickey. Oh, oh, like they're trying to stand in the eighth remnant for the toss back. Moves in. The toss is there. They get him. Well played. Just blows up Zai. That was executed perfectly. Boxy runs in, but Tumba Man still far forward. Tims gets punished for his jumping. Jackie got. He just can't do anything against that Scotty. But Tumba Man controlled. They have the leash, bringing him low. Sunder is ready if things oh, get nice. And they hand it on over. Dispose after. Boxy still chasing for FBZ. And a couple more punches from a tumble man, but Dyer looking good in this series so far as Liquid take the first racks of the game. 21 minutes. Yep, Zai, I feel like uh, two games in a row seems to have the same role, but this time it's for this. All right, here it comes. There's the toss into the round. They got him. Control can they burst, but dispose. The answer came out. A tumble man, BKB, turns to fight. Control on the Yopaj. Will he get away? They have the grave already there. Control and Boxy tries to assimilate out. Skim dead does not have buyback. And Mickey, he hunts, he finds, he kills Yopaj. No buyback on any of these heroes. And with the tier three tower glyph wearing off, it is going to be mega creeps at least, if not more. They tick into the gold right now for Yopaj. And it looks like Liquid might have enough in this series to even this one up. As they pull him back in, Tiny buys back. They buy back on Yopaj, hoping to make something happen. But everybody is dying. Everybody buys back, and Liquid will actually smoke and run away now. Insania, the only one in vision, Tims. Looks for the toss Another back. Another discourse, nice. Boxy there for the save. They're out of meta. Maybe chasing a bit too far here, we will see. But boom, they're making him work for it. Mickey gets the silence now on FBZ. Matumbo Man right on top of the Terra Blade, or rather the Timber Saw. And I says, why are you bringing him over to me? Tim's Walrus Punch connects, but it's gonna be fine. And yeah, let's look at that. Tim's gets ran down. And God is still here. They could look for more. Skem tries to back away, kisses round two. Catches up with the Ench, slowly whittling him down. The silence is out. They have Metamorphosis if they want to turn for this fight. Skemp down to such low HP, but will survive through it. Mickey takes a big Illuminate Blast through the side of him. They're still oh, coming on. He can't beat a couple more punches. FPC in trouble. Can they finish him off, though? Not quite. So two heroes in K. Jackie, Skem, they're the ones that are blocking this off. Oh, Interrupting, good avalanche onto all. FPC walks forward, they toss back in. Jackie Matumba Man trying to kill Skem. The BKB's there. It's only the edge to start. FPC, this BKB, this is looking pretty good for Liquid. FPC down low for the snowball fall. save. The Hex is there, but he's going to have his damage coming out of it. Tim's trying to control, but there's no follow-up on Matumba Man. He gets it off the so of the turn. They're already dead on a couple. No DP in this fight. Matumba Man lower and lower. Jackie trying to finish. And he does! Jackie Carey! But will he get out after? Liquid kiting that fight and they finish him off, but one last blast from Yopaj takes down that Snapfire. Three for two, and I don't know if there's enough left to finish Roche. Yeah, Mickey's still hunting a bit there, seeing if he can find Scam at the end, but he's not letting it expand, and suddenly it starts to matter less, but 
They need their ultis. They can't go for another round right now. Matumba Man still dead for five seconds. Zai gets caught, tries to play a little bit of interrupt, but Yopaj just spamming out this damage from the back line. The mech, it's there for the heal, but it's not enough. That's an incredible pickoff. They need that so bad right now. Okay, they try and move in. Matumba Man, he's just got a punch. He does not have metamorphosis. Can they chase down the rest of these heroes? Oh, the cookie, but the snowball save again. And Matumba Man down to a quarter HP, pops the BKB, waiting for NPCs to wear out. He wants to sunder this. Oh. Gets it for the kill. Matumba Man, he hits his mark. Oh my goodness, that is what they needed. Mickey though gets found and killed by Scam, but Matumba Man just going in with his bare hand. And now Jackie's trying back. Trying to make it work. Jump in, Jackie. The snowball forward, the spin down, and boom. They take down the carry There's of Liquid. It's gonna be here as well. There's no four staff in time. They can keep this chase on the Boxy. Boxy tries to hide, tries to get away. But Tim's, Yopaj, they're on the case. The Hex is there, the snowball in. Four go down and boom. This proc, the Hex already out on the Blade. This could be okay for them. Snowball on the one. He plants a war two. The pushback now. Good vision on the all. Jackie goes for the spin. FBZ, they turn on to this DP, trying to kill him off in time. Can they do it though? The Abba toss combo, it's enough. FBZ will fall. The kiss is coming in the back line. Yopaj takes care of that. But it is only one for one. It was the DP kill. It was, it was. Still can't Jackie do doesn't it. care. Not concerned. Tim's with the kick out. They found him. What's up, a man? Oh, the Thunder, where is it? He needs it now. He's trying to survive with just the Satanic, and it's actually good enough. Tim has turned upon Jackie, trying to focus. Can they kill him off in time? Hex, the control, the right clicks, the forward, the cookie. They missed though. They missed the cookie. Now Tronzo has to force that out, but it's not going to be enough. Yopaj comes through with the damage in the end. But the buyback is there from Terrorblade. The kick on to Mickey. Tim's just keeps on finding targets. The Zaganim Scepter was exactly what they needed. He does have buyback. And they're going to need it from this Tiny if they want to stop this pressure coming from Boom. Oh, the smoke up as well from the other heroes in the back. Remember, though, this is a Terrorblade now who doesn't have meta. Doesn't have. He can't afford a refresher with that buyback as well. Tough to really do much in these fights. And boom, they can sense blood in the water. They're not even worried anymore. Jackie no longer going for the spin and hit. He's just hitting right away. Will back away as everybody rejoins them, but this is the last Rax remaining. Mega Creeps soon on the menu. And you can see the hesitation of Tim's with the eggs too, right? Like with the big save initially on the terribly with the hand of God, it, it, it was a little bit rough at first, but obviously they just have so much sustain and the Aegis on the Juggernaut that they feel comfortable with a, a support buyback in that situation. So Tim's again, ready to hunt here with another kick if someone presents themselves. Liquid, they're staying in this one till the bitter end. One last building. Can Boom close this out cleanly? Mickey caught by a shards. He's in there it is. He's the hex. They kick him. Mickey in trouble. There's no save. Tries to push away the cookie. Everything. They do actually get him out. Meanwhile, the walrus punch. The Dagon. Matumba Man is dead for two minutes with no buyback. Boom. They sense it's their time. They want to go to TI. And sends a collective sigh of relief from all the Southeast Asian fans as at least one team is going through direct. If they can finish this one off, it's a lot of damage from Mickey, but Jackie is strong. Two more dead. Sai gets caught by the fear. Yo, Ponch is godlike. The buyback from the Visage. Everything thrown out of the line. As Liquid do not want to give this up, but FBZ is too strong. Abba, Toss, Combo, the Jug, he's still got an Aegis. It's not going to matter. And Boom are going to close this one out, finish it off the it. game. It doesn't matter, it hurts either way. It hurts. It's at least. Just needs a refresh, you know. But Liquid, I can't not enough left in the tank. And Boom are going to take this series.